Welcome back to the Surf Run Channel. Week 13 of training for the Ironman California in Sacramento. Next month, October 22nd. Four short weeks away from race day. Okay, so we're gonna go into a week 13 recap. I'm not gonna go through all the details. The first few days of the week were pretty standard in terms of training, run, bike, swim, right? Really, it was the weekend that was quite different from the previous weeks and significantly more time and distance for the bike and the run portion. The swim was actually a little less than I've done in the past. I've swam as far as, well, over 4,000 yards. This week's swim was 3,600 yards. That was on Friday. I tried doing these like circles in the pool, attempting to simulate maybe an open water swim, as well as to see if what's truly causing the cramps that I get in both my feet and I've determined that the cramps that I get in both my feet are due to the pushing off of the, the wall. Is that's what the cause is of the cramps because I wasn't getting cramps if I'm just going in circles in the pool. So anyways, Saturday was the big day. Furthest ride ever in my entire life, 100 miles. Six hours in the saddle. Biggest, I guess, reason why the bike went as well as it did is fueling. I'm beginning to realize and put into practice the importance of properly fueling for these endurance sessions. Six hours on saddles, a long time. And not that it's challenging or, or it's grinding or it's, ex well, it is challenging. It's not grinding or exhausting. You're just pedaling in the saddle, six hours and 10 minutes. That's what it took me to finish the 100 miles. So being out there for as long as I am, as long as we are, it's important to be getting that fuel in you getting those calories in and uh, replenishing. One of the techniques I used this ride, which I haven't used in the past, was instead of doing or taking a gel every hour, I took a gel every 45 minutes. And also every hour on the hour, I ate something solid. Yeah, 40, every 45 minutes taking one of those spring gels, which I love. Every hour taking something solid. In this case, I think I have one here. I've got some crustables. I took some crustables with me. Or I also had these honey stinger bars with me. So again, something solid in me on the hour, every hour. And there were times they would collide, right? So I would kind of choose. Do I want to gel or do I want to eat some solid food? So that was big. So instead of every hour, every 45 minutes. And that did have, ultimately had a huge impact on my ability to ride fully 100 miles without feeling feeling completely depleted or empty. In fact, after the 100 mile ride, I honestly felt I could I could go further. I could definitely go 112 miles. And after that ride, I immediately straight off the bike into a 20 minute run and felt pretty decent on the run. Sub eight minute mile for two and a half miles or whatever it took me to, you know, whatever the distance was for 20 minutes. So that was big and, and also I had two bottles. One bottle was a super concentrated like electrolyte drink and then the other bottle was just water. So the, the combination of all of that definitely improved my stamina. I enjoyed the ride. I mean, of course there were some moments on the ride where I was like, ugh. Now, was it painful? It's very painful sitting in the saddle. I still have not found it comfortable to be on a bike. I also put these new aero bars on my bike and I should have tested those out before sailing off on a 100 mile ride so that when, when I eventually wanted to get into aero position, uh, I realized that it wasn't set up right. It's too narrow, too low, not comfortable at all. The route I went on, I tried to simulate as best I could what is going to be the course in Sacramento, which is flat out 28 miles back 28 miles, second loop out 28 miles, back 28 miles. So that's what I did on my ride this weekend on Saturday. When I got back to start, say the second loop, I actually had a piece of pizza. So that helped, just a cheese pizza. That, I forgot to mention that, the cheese pizza also helped. I don't know if I'll be able to do that in Ironman, Sacramento, have a piece of pizza, I'm not really sure. But either way, I had a substantial bit of food at that moment and I felt completely revived. Fueling is absolutely critical. I think I had three of these total for the 100 mile ride. I had two of these, I believe, two of these, 
And the spring gels right here, I have the awesome sauce ones, which are the green ones, which are my favorite, but these work too. But I had these again every 45 minutes. Oh, and I had a Coke as well. So <laughs> I had a Coke between the ride and the run. So a Coke and a Crustable and I was on my way. Sounds like a lot. Oh, and I started the ride. I had maybe three of these blocks here, these Honey Stinger with a Coke flavor, cherry cola flavored. Um, they got some caffeine in them. Next day's run 18 miles, another beautiful day, cool, cloudy, drizzly, just perfect training weather this weekend, by the way, that was also a huge. Stoked on this weather today. Super stoked on this weather today. It is drizzly, cool. It's supposed to get pretty windy later. Yeah, this is what I needed just to attempt a nice steady zone two 18 mile run today again it's about endurance and not speed um, contributor to a successful long weekend of working out 18 mile run on sunday did also something similar to the course for sacramento it's flat and it's two loops made sure that i fueled myself along the way and kept it in zone two by the way kept that pace down did 18 miles in exactly two hours and 30 minutes, which was the prescribed time for my workout. Remember how earlier I said that I don't feel the effects of yesterday's 100 mile bike? Well, let's see, what mile was that at? Six, I think. I am now at mile almost 15. And yeah, I feel it. Legs are definitely heavy. I'm kind of a mess right now. But fortunately for me, the hardest part of this route is over. Going up Butterfield is quite the challenge, and I am now on top of that hill, and it's only down from here. Total duration for week 13 was 14 hours and 35 minutes, and total mileage was 149 miles. One thing I didn't get this last week, which I absolutely plan on doing this week is a total of 30 miles of running. I did 28 or almost 29 miles of running this last week. This week I do plan on getting to 30 miles of running. I still feel I need to work on what I think is my strength in a triathlon, which is the run, and not neglect that. So yeah, I'm gonna get that 30 miles in, but that was a lot more than a week prior in terms of duration and distance and a lot more than this current week. This current week, week 14, I'm looking at 10 hours. And, is that right? Total duration, 10 hours and 57 minutes. So yeah, that's a recap of week 13. All things going well. I feel pretty good. I feel great actually about last week's sessions and I hope to carry that into the next four weeks because yeah, four more weeks, it's crazy. Next week, this will be the last week where I don't think about logistics of the event. Next week, I'm gonna to have to take some time and start figuring out travel, gear, look at the courses, get familiar with kind of just, you know, where the aid stations, what's at the aid stations. So I do know that they just came out with a run course. I heard news that the check-in for the race well, not, you cannot check in for the race on Saturday. You have to check in on Friday. That kind of throws a bit of a wrench into everything because we were going to arrive on Friday. We were going to drive up from San Diego to Sacramento, which is about a seven hour drive or so. But we might now need to go up on Thursday instead. But we'll figure that out. Again, all the logistics. Let's talk about that next week. This last week was just pure training. And this week too is about pure training. I did get great sessions of strength and conditioning in last week. I'm gonna continue that. Probably stop the strength and conditioning classes two weeks out just because I don't wanna injure myself. So yeah, that's it. That is week 13 recap. Ironman training for California. Rolling right along when I'm in my own headspace, whether riding or running or trying to go to sleep, I'm thinking about the race. Do I feel some nerves and a little bit of anxiety? Absolutely. I guess that's just the way it's going to be. I don't know how to curb that. All right, hope you're enjoying the videos. It's always great for me to just kind of review the last week and ensure that I take some of those tips and tricks and pop them into the current week. And a big shout out to my training buddy, Marchin, kicking ass as always. And big shout out to my running group, the Stay Fit Temecula Running Group. 
these guys, it's a group full of amazing people and athletes, including those who have done multiple Ironmans. Their advice and their encouragement is invaluable, and I super appreciate that. I think that's it. I think I'm rambling a bit too much about all of this. Surfer on channel out. Yeah, so real quick, these are kind of my go-to, my go-to nutrition. Uh, well, I don't know if this is nutrition, but coffee, definitely. A little bit of caffeine fix, flush the system out. Uh, these honey stingers, the waffles are excellent. The Specifically the vanilla and the honey ones. These are fantastic. I love these guys. I actually started kind of getting into their, their bars, these nut and seed bars. And these taste great. And they've got the protein and they're kind of that solid food that work on the ride. So I, I've had a few of these uh, during one of my recent rides at Long Ride and it worked perfectly. These Crustables, they're just, I love PB&J and just a nice, easy package to get to get at them. So these guys, the great ones, awesome. And of course, I've always, I've mentioned these gels. I don't have the awesome sauce gels, which is the green packet. I think they're cinnamon and apple, super good. Um, but these work too. They're, you know, 100, I think 120 calories, somewhere in that range for the, the green ones. And then I've also got, I just tried these Honey Stinger caffeinated chews. They're cherry cola flavored. So these. And I'm a huge fan of chocolate milk. Mm, and I don't have any Gatorades on me, but I, you know, Gatorade is my go to uh, electrolyte drink. I go with the zero sugar ones though. But if I'm looking, if I, if I for my bottles on the ride, I put. For the for the hundred mile ride, I put three of these three of these uh, capsules tablets in my water, which made it quite concentrated. Which was, I finished the entire bottle in that hundred miles. So, uh, fruit punch is my favorite flavor. These noon tablets. So, yeah, that's basically for the most part all the nutrition I take while I'm out there.